morning guys so over the past few days i've been making a whole lot of progress on my pulsar fpv glider now here's a picture of it you can see this is an absolute beast of a glider um if i'm correct it's a three and a half meter wingspan the whole thing when fully built weighs about a kilogram and a half it's gonna be fantastic i cannot wait to get it finished but um yeah, it's been an expensive job. Every servo costs a lot of money when you start hitting this sort of scale of um, aircraft. So it's been a, a slow burner. But um, I wanted to show you this. And this is what I have ended up coming up with in order to improve the overall setup and install of the glider. Now, you can see in the photo over here that I'm showing you, this effectively just plugs onto the top of the wing. And my idea here was that I wanted to keep the actual impact to the airframe as small as possible. So we're talking very little in the way of holes drilled, cutouts, anything. Everything basically is in there. And um, well, not quite everything. There's a flight controller down in the bottom of the fuselage. And you know, I've got a Matic, not a Matic, sorry, I've got a Furious F 35 which I squeezed in. And I'll be able to plug up however many thousand milliamp up front. And then all my viewpoint sits on this. Now, you can see the generalized idea that I came up with here. We have two crossfire antennas because inside here, I've got a little diversity micro. I've got a pitot popping out, which is quite cool. I've got a run cam split. Now, this is a 270 servo. And you can see I can get there all the way around. Ah! right back to there so I can actually look behind me while I'm flying and then I've got the VTX and an antenna let me get that back to center there you go I don't really like moving these servos but so you can see the end result is what looks like a little boat sitting on top of the airframe which will hold the guts of the FPV stuff now I think what will be really cool about this is the view that I'll get because from here Assuming all goes well, I shouldn't, I haven't actually checked this in the camera. I might have to raise that slightly. I should just see past the nose, which means I won't see that. The only thing that I will see will be the, the red nose of the glider up front. And then when I pan left and right, you've just got a meter and a half in either direction of beautiful transparent wing. It's going to be fantastic. Um, Sadly, it's going to be a little while off from me actually flying it because this is not a model you take out lightly. It's a, it's a day, you've you got to look for the right weather, you know, so you're talking light winds, thermals, you know, and just enjoying yourself, you know, I think it's going to be fantastic. It's all about the soaring and I cannot wait to finish it. Um, yeah, that's really all I can tell you on it. I'm making slow progress and... I think give it another three weeks with all this isolation and I'll probably have it finished. And then who knows when I'll get out with it. Um, hopefully we'll all be allowed out from lock and key before long. But the one blessing of all the COVID-19 isolation is I've actually gotten this done. So I'm kind of chuffed. Once I've finished with all of this stuff, I will be plugging the files up on the Thingiverse as always. And maybe if the guys from Pulsar want to start producing this, that would be a bloody good idea because the way they've rigged it currently doesn't work. I had to come up with this to actually make it work. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I will keep you up to date. Cheers.